Praise God. God bless you guys. This is uh, Pastor Kevin. I am here in Newark uh, at the airport, getting ready to fly out to Germany and then on to Lagos, Nigeria on the beginning of a 45-day journey. We're going to be going to Africa in the country of Nigeria. Uh, be going from Nigeria to Uganda and then we finish up in uh, Kenya and uh, I just thank God for this trip you know the Lord the Lord is the one that is uh, the author he's the one that leads us he's the one that directs us and uh, we're following God God's direction for our life we're believing God for a mighty harvest in the nations of of Africa and we're going to ex experience revival I wanted to share uh, some testimony with you about what God has done uh, on this little trip before going off on this this uh, crusade God opened up the doors for me to be able to go uh, and spend a couple of days with my my wife here in New York City and uh, it was just a miracle everything was a, com a complete miracle my you know we didn't have the money to go to buy an extra plane ticket for two to go to New York City but there's a brother at the church that had uh, he had blessed us with uh, with uh, miles so we could go uh, you know just wherever and uh, you know I asked them if we could use it to go on a little getaway before we go off before I go off to the crusade and and he blessed me with the miles and so I thank God for for him providing for the Lord providing and for speaking to his servant so I thank God for my brother who who blessed us with the miles me and my wife we enjoyed a, a few days here in New York City we're gonna be away from each other for 45 days while I'm in Africa and uh, it was it was uh, just amazing you know the Lord the Lord's been good to us uh, we were talking this week about how God answers the desires of our heart if we just make him first and do what he tells us to do that God he adds to our lives so much and he had so much uh, of his, his peace so much of his provision and uh, he, he removes all sorrow and stress and that's the way it's been living for the Lord all these years uh, we've seen God just provide and bless and answer our hearts desires you know I remember the very first trip I went to I traveled all over the world went to the jungles of India went out to the to the the outskirts of of Africa and uh, I went everywhere but the only thing I asked the Lord I said Lord will you please grant me and my, my wife a, uh, a opportunity to go to Paris I wanted to surprise my wife with Paris and don't mind the, the the noises around I'm in the airport and so people are walking around and there's gonna be noises but and so at the end of the trip I was in Slovakia and I was wondering how am I going to see the hand of God to provide for the finances in the very last service the very last meeting we received an offering that allowed us to be able to go and so I flew my wife uh, all the way to Paris and we enjoyed Paris there and uh, it's funny you know the Word of God says that you'll do things without money the Bible says you'll live in houses you didn't you didn't build that it, uh, God will add to our life the clothes that we wear and even the place that we will sleep and so it is awesome to see the hand of God every day of our life and let me just tell you the secret the secret to living for God is do everything that the Lord tells you to do when uh, Jesus was at a, at a wedding and they had run out of wine and his mother Mary came up to him asking him to help out and then the mother of, of Jesus told told the servants whatever he tells you to do do it and that's the direction I want to speak to your life today and just encourage you whatever the Lord tells you to do do it just tr trust God obey God if he tells you to go go if he tells you to stay stay if he tells you to speak speak whatever he tells you to do do it because all we are, are servants of God and if we will serve him and be faithful to obey his voice and the leading and his direction for our lives we will see good we'll have good success we'll be blessed the Lord will, 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 will answer our hearts desires and the kingdom of God will be increased because we have done the work of the Lord we have to understand that we are a servant under the master's hand and he will direct us and he will lead us and so I've seen that in my life how if I just as, as I honor God and I obey God and I let him direct my steps that not only does does God use me to fulfill the work of the kingdom but he blesses me in ways that are beyond imagination and I want to tell you my friends that's a secret for your life as well if you honor God and you follow God and let him direct your steps you will see that God is a good God he'll honor you he'll bless you and he'll increase you even coming over to the airport you know I'm leaving in a few hours to Germany and then we're going to Nigeria from there but even coming over to the airport uh, I, I took one of those uh, those lift lift rides and and just a personal man who, who picked me up and, and he drove me to the airport and uh, as we were driving I, was, I began to talk to him just share about Jesus and he began to open up his heart and talk about his life how how he had sensed God in churches but 
but he, he was afraid to press into the deeper things. And as we were talking about the goodness of God, the Spirit of the Lord filled, the, filled that, that car, and he began to cry out to God, and, and uh, I was able to lead him into salvation. And uh, today, a new brother came into the kingdom of God. Even before I went on my trip, even before I, I've left the United States, we were able to lead someone into the kingdom of God. And that's what it's about, my, my friends. Don't you know that all heaven celebrates when one person comes to Jesus, and that's the ministry that God has given us, the ministry of reconciliation. And so I thank God for that. And I want to encourage you, my friends. I want to encourage you that whatever God tells you to do, just do it. Just follow Him, obey Him. Watch what He'll do for you. Watch how He'll bless you. Watch how He'll help you. Watch how He'll use you mightily for His glory. There's a great adventure waiting for you. God has so many plans and purposes for your life. He's waiting for you to surrender to His plan. Stop living for yourself. Start living for Him. The Bible says that you cannot live for, for money and for God. You have to choose which one you're going to live for. Are you going to live to serve yourself and try to figure out how to make a way for yourself? Or will you just fully surrender to God and say, Lord, here I am, your faithful servant. Command me, direct me, lead me, Holy Spirit. The Bible says those that are led by the, by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. So allow the Holy Spirit to lead you today. It might be as you're on your way to work, God might tell you to do something and just do it. Maybe you go to the store to buy something and the Lord might tell you to bless someone, bless them. Whatever it is, God leads you. Let God speak to you today. And I tell you, the greatest blessing is not that you receive something in exchange. The greatest blessing is knowing that when God speaks, you can hear Him. And if God speaks and you can hear Him, understand this, that God is speaking to others to bless you just the way you've blessed others yourself. Amen. And so I encourage you, my friends, follow God. Today, the word of the Lord for you today is whatever He tells you to do, do it. Trust Him and He'll show you that you'll have a good, peaceful life. And God will bless you and use you mightily for His glory. Let me pray for you. Father, I just thank you for my brothers and my sisters. And I thank you for this opportunity to serve you again, Lord, as I get on this plane and travel around the world, Father God. I ask for your anointing to surround me, Lord, that the angel of the Lord will encamp around me, Father God. Mighty signs, wonders, miracles will take place, Lord. But Lord, I also pray for my brothers and sisters here in the United States and around the world, Lord, that you use them mightily. You speak to them that this is just the beginning of a, a greater adventure with you, Father God. So bless them, Father God. And Lord, thank you for not only only calling us into your kingdom, but answering the desires of our heart. We love you and we thank you, Lord. You're so good. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Well, I'll see you when I'm in uh, either Germany or Nigeria. I'm going to try to record all along the way. And we're just going to go on an adventure together. Amen. So please tell people about what about these little uh, broadcasts. And I'll be uploading on Facebook. And I'm going to try to put them on Channel 23 as well. God bless you. And I'll see you on the other side of the world. God bless.